Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to another edition of Soccer As We Like It, the Man United direction. Breaking news, breaking news, breaking news. Ronaldo is set to have flown back into Manchester this Monday afternoon. Uh, he's, pre he's prepared to talk to Manchester United bosses in reference to where he wants to go, what he wants and what is the next stage in his career. Now, Ronaldo wants to play Champions League football. Man United are not in Champions League. Man United said he's not for sale. Ronaldo said he's prepared to take a pay cut to go to a club that could offer him Champions League football. But this is the problem. He's prepared to take a pay cut so that his wages won't be a problem. Um, it's rumoured, a, a Spanish uh, reporter has said, man, uh, Real Madrid, he could go back to Real Madrid, but Real Madrid are not, don't want him back. He wanted to go to Atletico Madrid. Atletico Madrid fans went online to petition that they don't want Mid Ronaldo because he was single-handedly stopped the winning Champions League twice, 2014-2016. And he scored so many goals that destroyed them over the years while playing for the rivals Real Madrid. Right, Chelsea. Chelsea said they're not in the race to San Ronaldo, but you never know with these clubs that everyone's keeping the, ch the clock cards close to their chest and not letting anything know, plan know what they want to do, probably to the very last minute on the transfer market. Also, now coming into the fray, PSG said they're not interested. So PSG are not interested. Atletico are not interested. Juventus are definitely not interested. Real Madrid are not interested. Atletico are not interested. Chelsea are not interested. Where does Ronaldo go? A Saudi Arabian team said the uh, Saudi Arabian club said they're prepared to pay him two million a week, but no, he's not going to Saudi Arabia. He's that ain't gonna happen. MLS even asked him, even uh, into Miami, Beckham's team. <laughs> That's just to sell shirts. He will never go to MLS. That's not gonna happen. Secondly. Or oh, sixthly, whatever you want to look at it. While you're watching our video, don't forget to smash a like, share, subscribe by hitting the subscribe button, the logo at the bottom right, or just go to the link at the bottom of, of our video and subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it and re appreciate everyone who's supported the channel from the beginning. But we're trying to get to our next destination, will be 4,000, and we're going to throw a 4K party. But for us to get to 4K, you need to share that video and like it and subscribe to it. Thank you very much. We're on all the social media platforms, Instagram, Tubular, Twitter, YouTube, and Facebook. Now, in reference to Ronaldo, he's had family issues. We, we get that, we understand that part. But while he's been saying he has family issues, his, his, manage, his agent, Mendes has been touting him, even Bayern Munich said they were not interested. But Bayern Munich have just sold Lewandowski. Can Ronaldo be the replacement for Lewandowski? We don't know. We just, like I said, this market is so funny that teams that will say no at the last minute, at the last minute, announce, oh yeah, we'll have him. You see what I mean? So it's not impossible for him to go to Atletico. It's not impossible for him to go to Real Madrid. It's not impossible for him to go to even Chelsea. We shall just have to wait. But he's going to have a talk with Manchester United this week. Eric Ten Hag, Man United have said he's not for sale. Eric Ten, Eric Ten Hag has said he's in the plans for next season. So he's going to say either Ronaldo's going to be part of the plans for next season, which is in two weeks' time, or he will start later. That's another thing. But this is also another problem we're having. Ronaldo has emphasized he the united are offering him a loan deal he could go out for one year loan but he'll be back to come and play in the next season which would be a 2023 season 2023 24 season which means ronaldo will be 39 and at united so united are off prepared to offer him a one-year loan move out and come back probably when united and champions league then come back but he is not looking at that point. He just wants to go. According to Piers Morgan, but how reliable is Piers Morgan these days? I don't even know anymore. So we'll just have to wait and see. But a lot of fans are hoping he could stay and help build his team. But he said he wants to go to a club where he's solely not the main person scoring the goals, whereby other people contribute, taking off the weight of him. He does want to be the sole focus of the only source of goals. See what I mean? So he he doesn't want that responsibility. It's too much, you know, because they demand too much, and especially a club whereby you have a lot of players who are jealous and envious. You see what I mean? So yeah, yeah players whereby they have a lot of hatred going on around him. 
So he wants to go to a club whereby other players will chip in. Not everything just falls on Ronaldo's shoulders. So I get it. So we'll just have to wait and see. Like, share, subscribe. Also, uh, Ajax have said um, Anthony is up for... They, they could run out of time for £65 million. Pounds. United are not prepared to go over £60 million, So we'll just have to wait and see if United are going to get Anthony for from Ajax. But Ajax have said... We finished selling players. If you want him, you're gonna to have to pay more. We can't sell him. If you don't want him, we will keep him. If you want him, you're gonna to have to pay this amount. This is where we've evaluated. United's evaluation is completely always different from other teams' evaluation. We all know that. But I put our video. Are you happy with United's current state of transfers? Frankie Dion, we're not gonna talk about this one because this one is a case of Xavi is saying one thing, Laporte is saying one thing, Barcelona is saying one thing, United are saying one thing. They owe the guy money, bloody pay the guy, you bloody thieves. This Barca are a bunch of thieves. They, they owe a player money. Instead of paying up, they're trying to squeeze other teams to pay them to cover the wages. A bunch of absolute robbers. They need to be fined. And in fact, why don't they just shut that club down and call it a day? You see what I mean? rubbish absolute rubbish anyway just in case we don't know we, uh, united's next game if, you, if you're not aware is on saturday atletico madrid is the next team they're playing for the uh the um pre-season warm-up and they have another game the next day against a third division spanish team so probably gonna use the youth for the third team uh in the in in this week a lot of fans have been blaming the gear that he was pathetic and poor for the considering that last minute goal against aston villa on on saturday for the last minute goal people said he was weak he was poor he should have done better uh united fans also attacked Maguire for his poor defensive display it is what it is and also as we all know, are United going to sign a CDM? Join this channel, we'll find out, and we'll keep giving you the breaking news and the fastest news from Manchester United. From us, it's goodbye and good night. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. Ronaldo is ready to talk.